Sean Yao, and this is One News Now. Restaurants in areas under GCQ or general community quarantine are now allowed to offer up to 50% of their seating capacity to customers. Not only that, but alcoholic beverages are back on the menu. Shyla Francisco will tell us more about this. She is joining us live from Makati. Shyla, where are you and what's happening over there? Sean, we're here in Bacolod Chicken in Asal in Jupiter to observe if they will be implementing the new guidelines. So, uh, as what you've mentioned, um, the DCI expanded the capacity to 50%. So, for example, here in this restaurant, from 30% capacity, they will now uh, allow a 50% capacity, which translates to from uh, 90 customers from 55 previously. Sean? All right, Shaila. Um, apart from expanding seating capacity from 30%, right now it's 50%. What are the other changes in accommodating dining customers? Have they improved their contact tracing forms? The, did you go to the baño and see how clean it was or any differences there? Sean, in terms of the safety or health protocols, uh, they are strictly implementing it. They've put barriers in the tables. They have contact tracing forms that you have to fill up. And they, they also have alcohol to put back in their restaurants. Now, with regard to the changes that you are asking, aside from the 50% capacity, restaurants are now allowed to open up until 11 p.m. And as for uh, the alcoholic drink, the restaurant can also serve up to two alcoholic drinks per customer. Sean? All right, Shaila, uh, just clarifying that issue with the alcoholic beverages because you are in Makati and two weeks ago, I think, yeah, it was last last Tuesday, Mayor Abby Bina said no serving um, alcohol in restaurants. And in fact, I did go to a restaurant and they did refuse to serve alcohol, citing this uh, pro proclamation by Mayor Abby Bina. So is that now canceled or what's going on? Sean, we asked a DPI Secretary Mon Lopez earlier about that. He acknowledged that some LGUs have their own ordinances in terms of the liquor ban and curfew. Well, they are um, encouraging these LGUs to somehow relax its uh, ordinances. They also asked the restaurant owners to comply with the LG ordinances or clarify with the, L the corresponding, uh, the respective LG rather, uh, regarding these rules, whether they will follow the DPI guidelines or the LGU ordinance. Sean? All right, so LGU ordinance over the DTI guidelines, Shaila. But like you said, today 50% uh, capacity is now available to, to customers. Are there actually more customers? I know you're in Jupiter and that's a whole row of restaurants right there. Did you notice higher traffic, more cars park, more people coming in? Because I can see the restaurant behind you. And it does look a little empty, although I think it is already 1.30, so maybe that's why. Yes, exactly. Yes. After lunch already, and they usually expect the surge of customers during lunchtime and dinner time. Earlier, we were here as early as 11 a.m. We saw a lot of customers here already, and it's a it's a big improvement compared to the past few weeks, where we only saw one to two customers at, at this time of the day. Sean. All right, that's really good to hear. I hope Takeout is doing well as well. Thank you very much, Shyla Francisco, joining us live from Jupiter Street in Makati. And here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. The PCOO, or Presidential Communications Operations Office, has suspended its operations for a week after one of its employees tested positive for COVID-19. Communications Secretary Martin Andanar assured, their daily, assured in their daily briefing that their daily briefings rather will still continue online. Work in the PCO, PCOO will be resuming on Monday in time for the President's sauna. The Justice Department instructed the Corrections Bureau to ensure the presence of a representative from the Health Department during the conduction of swab tests within the facilities. Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara also told Bucor Director General Gerald Bantag to, ex to exert more effort in notifying the family of diseased inmates. And Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray, arrived at the NBI headquarters in Manila to take legal action on a fake nude photo attributed to being her. Gray has denied the woman in the photo is her and has claimed that it is fake and edited. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. 
Register for a free account at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Sean Yao and we are One News.